abandoned, ignored, left to the elements, demolished. Some of Syracuse's oldest buildings are slowly being swept away, containing history and memories that have anchored our community throughout many years. We pass by these historical landmarks every day and we grow up with them. They are ingrained in our community and our memories and our peepholes into the past. We have heard stories and seen photographs handed down from our ancestors on what made Syracuse the great city that it is today. But suddenly, it seems like it's vanishing and we feel that tear left in the fabric of our city. Parking lots take the places of buildings that flourished for many years Random train tracks still remain, going nowhere, reminding us of the train that traveled right through the economically developed city, and rubble that is now left behind from old factories that stood the test of time. There are centuries of industrialization and growth in Syracuse's great history. And our buildings tell that story of our past and reminds us on where our town came from and how far we have come today. The architecture that is still lingering upon these memorable buildings are still visually stunning till this day, creating moments frozen in time. What once was and what could be is still the question remaining. Is the adaptive reuse of these buildings economically or structurally feasible? Why is it too late for some of these buildings, but not others? And why are we building from the ground up when we can reuse these historic buildings for use for a viable economic society, as well as preserving our historic past? Can new memories be made within the walls of these structures? What can we do with these places? What can we do when one of these historic buildings' life remains uncertain? Is it ownership issues on why these endangered buildings are being led to ruins, or has the city or state had a tight grasp on changes, paperwork, or construction? As we dig deeper into our past, present, and future of these buildings, we will show some examples of what we do not want to happen as well as what can be done in time to save them. We will find out what happened to the people behind these historic structures and the individuals who remembered them and are trying to save our history. The past should not be left behind us and it is up to us to pick up the pieces.